Today we're going to be cooking this awesome brisket. What part does the burn-in come from? How do you make it? And why are they so darn good? And we're going to show you all that today. You may have missed the part where we trimmed this, uh, this brisket up on Facebook Live. Go back and check out that video. We show you step-by-step -step how we took it from a whole packer brisket. It's a huge 18 pound brisket down to what we have here. So today we're going to be using as our only seasoning the Gorilla Beef Rub. It has everything we need in it to turn out an amazing brisket. We're going to season one side. So you just want to make sure you get a good even coat throughout the whole brisket. This is a really good representation where it's flipped over here where you can see this, this flatter portion is how it's got its nickname, the flat. I, I highly recommend taking the time to find that grain on that flat and give yourself a 90 degree cut against it, just a little score line so you know once it's done exactly where you need to cut. Now if we flip this over, you'll see more of the point which rides on top of the flat. The point has a lot more fat content in it and just a little more juicy. Now the point is where we're going to make our burn ends today. Let's go ahead and season the rest of this. This thing's all seasoned up and we're going to go to the, uh, to the cooker and get this thing rolling. Okay, so we already got our silverback heated up. Now, keep in mind, you can totally put on the meat and then turn on the grill, okay? So you don't have to preheat it. We just went ahead and preheated our steaks. We happen to have a couple other things going on that we're gonna put on here. So we got this guy on. We're gonna set our timer. We're gonna come back and check it here in about an hour and a half. We're gonna start looking to see if we get some good bark formation. We're gonna let this one just go as is until we're happy with the bark, and then we're gonna wrap it. So our brisket has hit an internal temp of about 150, but more importantly than that, it's got a good crust, got the good color we want on it, it's time to wrap. So let's go get our brisket. So before I pour the beef stock in, I like to just kind of cup my foil just a little bit. I don't know, about a half a cup, depending on the size of the brisket, of the beef stock in. And then we'll come back with just a little bit of Worcestershire. And then I like to re-season at this point, and we'll re-season with a little bit of the Gorilla Beef Rub and we'll get this wrapped up. And it's ready to go back on the smoker. All right, let's get this guy back in here. And we're gonna check back in on it in about an hour and see where we're at. All right, so our brisket's done. All right, so gently get it out of there. You wanna make sure you get all of that au jus in a pan. And then we'll take it over here, vent it, and separate the point and the flat. And we'll get everything cut up so we can get it back on here to get our burnt ends done. All right, so to vent the brisket, we're just gonna stop the cooking process. We're just gonna lay open the foil for about 45 seconds to a minute, let it cool down enough to handle. So if you trimmed up your brisket like we did, you will see there's a, there's a perfect little indention for you to separate the point from the flat. So it's a little nip and tuck here, a little nip and tuck on this side, and the knife will just easily glide right through. So what I'm gonna do to even it up, I'm gonna come across the point and I'm gonna divide this big thick piece. So now that this piece is pretty even, you just kind of draw some lines in it. I like to kind of gauge roughly how big I want them as far as my burn ends, how big of a cube. And then I literally just will come through, cut everything one way, come in and cut it at a 90, and then I basically have my burn ends out of the biggest part of it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take a little more of our beef rub just give our burn ends a really good coat. Then I'm gonna put about a cup of the brisket jus right in each pan here. Then I like to add just a little bit of beef stock and then just a little bit, just a couple splashes of Worcestershire. Okay, so we've cranked our silver back up to 275. We're gonna let them go for about 45 minutes to check on them. All right, so they're super tender, but now they need some saucy flavor. We're using the thick and bold for these burn ends, but the Congo kick would be great here if you wanted something a little spicier. So we got a good coat of sauce. We're gonna give that just a couple minutes to set up. And then we're gonna pull these guys off. We're gonna go ahead and slice our brisket and it's time to eat. Remember that score line we made when we trimmed that brisket? We're gonna go back and find it. And there it is, right there. And we can see the grain of the brisket is running basically left to right. So all of our cuts 
are going to follow this parallel line right here. And what I'll do once I have half of it, I'll set the other half back and then just work on one half at a time. So let's get some good cuts out of here. Now as I slice this, I will typically put this right back in the jus and let it soak up in that brisket. Super tender. I'm going to flip this one over on the fat side so I can see the, the point here. But I know where we're going to cut because we had that one parallel line, the score line. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and divide this in half and come back in here and just run my cuts. Excellent. So it looks like our sauce is set. Nice and beautiful burn ins. Nothing wrong with those right there. Fats rendered out of them. They're going to be super tasty. They're still nice and juicy. They're fantastic. And these are just little sweet barbecue bombs. I love them. They're everything beefy, everything sweet, just a little bit of fat. They're perfect. There's no better part of the brisket, in my opinion. But let's try one of our slices here. Mmm. Super beefy. And remember, we didn't inject this. There's nothing crazy in this. All we did was put the Gorilla Beef Rub on it and cook it. That was it. What we want to see is you cook a brisket, we want you to take a picture, and you're going to hashtag it burnt ends. So hashtag that in Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We want to see it. And three weeks from the time we post this video, we're going to pick a winner. The winner's going to get a t-shirt. All the details are below in the description. So if you have any questions, email me, pitmaster at grillagrills.com. You can also email Mark at grillmaster at grillagrills.com. We're always there for you. Check out the Facebook group, My Grill Grill Smoker. I'd love to have you in there. John does a great job of moderating that group and we answer questions in there all the time. But as always, I'm Shane Draper, this is Gorilla Grills, and we'll see you next time.